Okay, and we were up early this morning and just left Kenosha, uh, Wisconsin, which wasn't far, and we are already pulling into Chicago. So we plan to stay in Chicago for a couple of nights. Okay, so we have arrived in Chicago. We caught um, a lift ride down here to the Navy Pier, the famous Navy Pier, and we are at the very end. Okay, so we're on Navy Pier and we are in the carousel, the enclosed and air-conditioned carousel, and we are just not up very far yet, but we're going to take some beautiful shots while we're up here. We're getting closer to the top. Beautiful views. Okay, this is the lock that we go through on Friday morning to enter the Illinois River. Headed down to Florida. Okay, the captain is uh, down in the engine room. He is checking under the hood, you might so to speak, but we got a low lube uh, message and so he's down there trying to get the new lube put in. Got that field right here. Oh, there you go. That field. Okay, so what do you want to get in those other ones for? Just take out any seaweed that was in here. Oh, have it purr like a kitten. Good, Good morning. morning from Chicago. Beautiful windy city, but it wasn't windy when we were here. No, so we just concluded two nights here and we are headed down to the lock where we enter the Chicago River, which then becomes the Des Plaines River and then becomes the Illinois River. So off we go. We've had a wild ride and a fun ride on Lake Michigan, but on to uh, smaller and better things. Correct. Okay, Bye -bye. keep in touch. Thanks for following. Okay, so we have just lowered about two to three feet, not much, from Lake Michigan in this lock, and we are going out into Chicago River. The significance of this lock that we found out in research is not so much the depth of it going down, but the fact that it helps to keep the, the river water from entering Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is really quite clear and beautiful. And of course, as we traditionally know, rivers are not. Another significant thing about this lock compared to most any others that we've encountered is that it's open 24 hours a day. Most have you know, hours that start from 9 to 5.30, whatnot and the reason for that is that the police and fire uh, boats need to be able to access uh, at all times the Lake Michigan side of Chicago so I just found that a little bit interesting. Well so yeah and there's the Chicago Fire Department right there. Another episode of Chicago Fire.
if you notice that I seem to be talking to somebody in some, some of our videos, that's because whenever we've separated by the valve, I'm, we always both wear headsets and we're able to carry on some of the most cute little conversations. Um, when, oh, he's, the captain corrected me. They're not called headsets. They're called white savers. Okay, back onto the scene. Trump Tower directly ahead on the right. We've been really enjoying the architecture of this building. It looks different from different angles. We actually saw it from the Magnificent Mile the other day. Um, it looked really totally different than it does right here. And yesterday we were coming through here afternoon. And this morning it is, I don't know, nine. 10 o'clock so the sun is shining on it. Spectacular skyline here in Chicago. There are so many condos along here where people, people live and I just think, oh, I never really thought of myself as being a high-rise downtown person, but I don't know, I think if I could have this view every day, Another note here that not every boat doing the Great Loop can come this route because of the low bridges. Uh, most, more specifically those with sailboats with high mass. And I suppose there could be a cruiser that's really tall that would not make this. Um, the, the bridges though, I mean they're missing a lot if they can't come this way because this adds so much beauty to completing our Great Loop. Another close up of the Trump Tower. It really is in a beautiful location and definitely stands out among the other buildings. This is pretty cool. They have a nice place for people to just sit here and enjoy watching the beautiful scenery of the water. You also have the um, canal is lined with not the canal, the river is lined with nice quaint little restaurants like this, so you can sit and watch the boats go by. Okay, so now we made that left. Uh, turn in the line, and we are headed more southbound, which is how we don't see as much sunlight in there. The buildings aren't quite as spectacular in design and whatnot, but it still is a very enjoyable Whoops, a little bit of construction going on from a barge on the bridge. I think the captain knows fees double in construction zones. Okay, it looks like we're... Farewell, Chicago. We had a wonderful two nights.